This is Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare in 2022. We're playing the Undead Nightmare DLC 12 years later and seeing how it holds up today. I am rounding up the time because I know it's not quite 12 years old just yet. It will be on October 26th, but 11 years, 5 months, and 4 days at the time of me recording this video just doesn't seem like a good title for a YouTube video. Anyways, there's some serious nostalgia in this video, and I want to know personally if you have played Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare before, and what your thoughts are on this single player DLC. While there were some content packs for L.A. Noir as well as Max Payne 3 that released in 2011 and 2012, I do think that Undead Nightmare was the last major single player DLC that Rockstar has ever released, and personally, I enjoyed it the most, probably a little bit more than GTA 4's Ballad of Gay Tony and most certainly The Lost and Damned. Both were fantastic GTA 4 single player DLCs as well, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you do like this video, let me know in the comments what are some other things from older Red Dead games that you would like to see. Maybe some Undead Overrun or Red Dead Revolver in 2022? Let me know. So, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. This loading screen, I'm getting pumped up, man. This is such a good single player DLC. I mean, one of the top of all time for single player DLCs in general, but specifically with Rockstar as well, I would say in order of ranking, The Lost and Damned would, was also amazing, right? But probably like my least favorite single player DLC. And then this Undead Nightmare may be a tie between uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony and Undead Nightmare. I don't know which is better. We're starting off. I actually, I'm in the middle of this. In a time of enormous crisis, I might Let's check out this cutscene. Why not? Doing the work of a common clerk. Thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Oh, we're at Fort Mercer. Okay. This poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now. Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. The music and everything. Oh my goodness. Pleasant's house. Now we're actually going to go over there. Take down the poster. It may take some time for West Dickens to find a way into Nuevo Pareso. In the meantime, you should visit the other survivors to see if you can lend them aid. We're going to take this poster and maybe we'll go after her or we'll try and basically save another settlement or town in this world. The blunderbuss, the double barrel shotgun. Wow. I mean, this ugh, dude. <laughs> Oh, I miss this game so much. The frame rate's a little off. I'm so used to having like 110 FPS in Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. And coming back to 30 FPS on uh, the Xbox. Well, I'm playing on the Xbox One, but this isn't the Xbox One X or whatever that can like run the game at 4K and stuff. This is just normal Xbox 360 game disc version in my Xbox One. So this is like upscaled 720p, I think, and I'm playing on a 1440p monitor. I love this game so much. I really, really do. Let's check out some of this content in here and game. Oh, look at my horse. I forgot I got this horse. This was from my playthrough. Okay, so when I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I did a 24 hour stream to celebrate and I played through the Red Dead Redemption 1 story mode. And then I also did a little bit of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare um, before I went into Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, played a little bit and then finished off that stream with Red Dead Online. And this is how far I got in Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. I know it would freak a lot of people out. They'd be so upset with the realism of this game if Rockstar added like a horse like this to Red Dead Online, but I would dig it, man. I'd be about it. Have these mythical horses and stuff like that. Have a flaming horse like this. I mean, this horse looks beautiful. It looks amazing. But first, let's check out some of the map. Because what I did with my Red Dead Redemption video in 2022, I went through everything. You can kind of see the map here. We got Ridgewood Farm. I think we'll go over there first. We can check out all the weapons that we can have. Outfits. We're going to find a lot of the stuff in multiplayer. So if you guys want to see like a Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare multiplayer video, Undead Overrun, and just basically it's Undead Nightmare Free Roam too, where there's zombies in the free roam. Let me know if you guys want to see that because that's also pretty fun. I doubt we're going to find any players on that. We may not even find any Undead Overrun lobbies to play, but we could certainly do it solo. And I think that would be a good time. But yeah, let's head over to Ridgewood Farm, free this town, and you could see some undead nightmare gameplay. One of the best single player DLCs from Rockstar Games of all time. We've arrived. We got zombie dogs here. We got a whole bunch of things. So 
Let's talk to the, the survivor and figure out how we can help. We're just basically going to need to take out all these targets. Things like that. Is he going to... Alright, looks like we're good to go. I'm using auto-aim. Remember, in Undead Nightmare, you need to get headshots, specifically. And I think they can... Yep, they can throw you off. I forgot they could do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Th this isn't good. <laughs> we're getting off to a, uh, a not-good start here, so... Actually, we still got it, baby. <laughs> we may have auto lock, but we still got it, homies. Th those guys do crazy damage. And you want to make sure, because there's kind of limited ammo in this game. You want to make sure you loot these guys. Because if you don't, you're going to run out of ammo, and you're not going to have a good time, to say the least. This guy's not dead yet. Oh, man, the dead zone on 360, the controller is uh, not the best. I'm actually, I'm going to try and loot these guys real fast. Quick loot. I love these looting animations in this game, too. It's all great. Let's just go through everything, though. Let's see. Do, do, do. And we'll get this guy. Undead ribs. Mmm. Yummy. Delicious. I like undead ribs. <laughs> Come on, John. Clear him out, baby. Oh, this guy's, like, super close. Kill the remaining undead to save the town. So once you complete those two notches uh, and you save, or, you know, you kill a bunch of zombies, you get the points and the credit added to saving that town. You need to just kill the rest of the enemies. There's probably going to be a boss fight at the end, or maybe that's only with the cemeteries that you clean out and you cleanse is what they call it. But what's also cool is that there is sort of like a maintenance feature to Undead Overrun. It's not like I save Ridgewood Farm right now and that's it. It's just going to be a human encampment for the rest of the game and in the free roam after the story closes. This is temporary. This town will become overrun again. And I'll need to go through the same process of trying to save people, trying to kill the zombies, kill the enemies. And uh, it's, it's really cool. I, I like it a lot. And I wish that Rockstar came out with something like this for Red Dead Online. You know, we, we were seeing that... There was more call to arms leaks and survival mode leaks in August. And that was the first time we saw real in-game, like, proof. Verifiable proof of a survival update coming out. And I was just really hoping that for Halloween, we would see, like, an undead nightmare. I can't hit this guy. I'm, I'm so bad at this game right now. Uh-oh. Hold up. Bam. Oh, no, I missed. Dude. There we go. <laughs> I gotta get used to the dead zone, I'll be honest. First of all, I play Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2 on a PS4 controller. I'm back using the Xbox One controller, and this is just very different to me, first of all. But, uh, here, so now we save the town. There's a few more bodies to loot, but I'm gonna go inside here. Once you, uh, once you save a town too, the sun comes out and it's all super nice. But when you're in an area of the undead, it's super dark and gloomy and everything. You actually can't enter the Ridgewood Farmhouse in Red Dead Online. I wish you could in, uh in it but we're gonna come inside here i can't actually walk through the door i'm stuck hello let me through the door thank you we're gonna open this chest i think we get blunderbuss ammo or let's see what we get i'm not actually sure repeater ammo and that's it oh i thought we were gonna get something better okay no matter let's loot this last guy out here oh one of the horses died that's sad once you save a town as well you unlock the safe house out here and it says this is the... who is this? Missing Souls. Okay, this is someone I gotta go after and save. But you could see all the icons on the map. You could go after, like, it shows the status of Fort Mercer, where we came from. Safe zone. Armadillo is back under attack. Same with McFarland's Ranch. Manzanita Post. Uh, you got the Railroad Station, which also is gonna be under attack. Blackwater right now is somehow safe, too. Um, but soon we'll, you know, we'll travel over into Mexico and all that. Um, later on in the story DLC, but this story DLC was just absolutely amazing. I really miss it, and I wish that Rockstar would come out with some caliber DLC like this uh, for Red Dead Redemption 2 fans, you know, because I play Red Dead Online a lot, but if they came out with a single-player DLC like this for Red Dead Redemption 2, I would jump right back into story and be dumping my entire life into playing that game. I just miss it a lot. So let's run over there right now, see if we can find one of these missing souls. Oh, we also got the Springfield rifle. Okay, so that's cool. We have a new weapon. I'd love to get the Lancaster repeater, but for now this will do. We've arrived at the Pleasant's house. We're gonna need to search for, I think this is Millicent, but she may be over at, oh yeah, was she at Pleasant's house? I thought she was at Brittlebush Trawl for some reason. Yeah, this is gonna be Millicent's uh, location. 
the missing soul from the Fort Mercer bounty board. Or not bounty board, but the missing person board. And look at, listen to the music. Oh, it's just, it's so good. Oh, was that her? She looked like a zombie. I think we just literally blew her face off. Rip. Come here. Bop. She's alive! She's alive! Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. Oh, let's get you home, lady. All right, sweet. She is alive. I totally thought that this chick who we just killed right here was was her. But it turns out we're good. She was camping over at Pleasant's house. I want to actually... Let's see. There's nothing that I can loot in here, so... Yeah, what the heck, lady? You're not gonna find anything to eat out here. Well, Let me tell you that much. Let's get you home. Let's go. This game is great. And in case you didn't know, this legendary mount, um, that you, I forget how you unlock it, but you need to basically find this horse out in the wild. The game will give you a little notification that it's nearby. And then when you do, What's your name, you need to tame the horse. And what, like a cool secret feature of it. Actually, I'll let this lady finish the dialogue. Let's go through. You can light these zombies on fire if you run through here. And the frames drop. Pretty crazy. If you run through, you can actually get these zombies out of the way. It's like that uh, part of the map, like the underground tunnels in Dead Rising. Where if you go through with a vehicle, there's just a ton of zombies to kill. I wouldn't recommend you go through there unless you have one of these legendary mounts. Because the zombies actually light on fire, which is pretty cool. From this horse. You touch them with this horse, knock them out of the way. And the zombies in this game, they just burst into flames, and you can actually kill them that way. And since you can't get bucked off in this game, it's actually a great tool to kill zombies and clear them out. Some of the zombies can rip you off of your horse if you stand still. But that being said, it's not like Red Dead where there's, you know, or Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2. If there's a lot of enemies, your horse will buck you off. So that's cool. Let's rescue her. I think that dialogue is done. <laughs> like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. What a great, great game. I miss it. Um, I'm about to end the recording of this video, but I think honestly before I edit this I'm gonna need to go and play a little bit more of this because I'm having a good time But before we end I just want to thank you guys so much for watching Thank you for watching this video You guys know I'm a huge Red Dead fan and being able to go back and experience Undead Nightmare from Red Dead Redemption in 2022 almost 12 years after this game released um, Which was actually October 26th. That was really funny Red Dead Redemption 2 released eight years after Undead Nightmare released for as a red dead single player dlc so thank you for watching this video guys hopefully you all enjoyed if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best red dead online and rockstar games content consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below that being said thank you all so much for watching hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.